India has had an eventful journey in the last 75 years as an independent country, rising from being a third world nation to being one of the most promising economies today. Today our country is in a position to focus on being Atmanirbhar. However, our nation is still massively dependent on external imports that do not enable local production. Recently, plastic waste imports were permitted, which could have been easily fulfilled from our own country's post-consumer waste. Since the waste-to-value supply chain is still stuck in a largely unorganized sector, we turn to imports from other countries in spite of these valuable resources piling up in our own waste bins. Will our India become the land of wasted opportunities? Majority of our own municipal solid waste contains organic matter that can be easily converted into methane gas. This natural biogas can then be used for production of energy, heating and cooking. The end byproduct, which is a biogas slurry, can also be utilized as an organic manure. So if this one single indigenous low-tech process is implemented across the country, it can massively cut down fossil fuel consumption and fertilizer imports. Another huge opportunity in converting waste to wealth lies in harnessing the potential of the gas, a byproduct from the sugarcane processing mills. India produces 100 million metric tons of the gas waste every year in sugar mills during the harvesting season, most of which is burned as fuel in mill boilers. This gas can be easily converted into biodegradable disposable tableware that can easily replace plastic cutlery. Abundance of this indigenous raw material for a product with high global demand creates a strong position for India to be self-reliant. A culturally rich country like India also generates another interesting type of waste, huge amounts of flower waste from weddings, functions and most importantly temples. A company is converting this valuable resource into agarbattis. The flower petals are segregated and dried and the dried powder is mixed with water and essential oils to create a dough. This dough is hand rolled into incense sticks also called agarbattis. Instead of polluting our rivers, this waste to value process actually ensures a sacred use again for the temple flowers. It helps to keep the rivers and our environment clean and provide local employment opportunities. Extraction of valuable metals from locally available e-waste is another lucrative option. Large amounts of e-waste is already collected in our country by the unorganized sector. Hazardous and unscientific ways of handling e-waste is a huge concern for the safety of the workers handling them and the environment. Gold, palladium and other valuable components of electronics can be extracted from this locally available abundant resource. This can reduce our need of imports while creating wealth locally. Today, innovative e-waste management companies are creating safe working conditions for unorganized workers. They have found a way to effectively outsource the waste collection process and then centralize the recovery process in a way that is safe for the environment and the workers handling them. With fast-changing technologies, consumerism in a densely populated country like India creates enormous amount of e-waste. There is potential to retrieve a significant amount of valuable metals from what's collected and turn e-waste into wealth for our country. Online food delivery has increased tremendously in the last few years. This has led to an enormous increase in plastic waste. A lot of side dishes received through online deliveries are also unnecessary and cause depletion of natural resources for single-use items. Companies are now starting to work on returnable packaging to encourage reuse and to help reduce waste. India can easily replicate this model of return for reuse at scale.
Our country, with its abundant local resources and aspiring talented workforce, can turn India into being Atmanirbhar along with a clean environment and a stronger economy.